So let's talk about percent concentration as a way of measuring concentration. So we know that concentration is the amount of solute divided by the total amount of solution and percent concentration is going to measure that as a percent. So it's solute being a percent of the total amount of solution. And we're going to talk about three ways of doing that. So there will be percent volume by volume, there will be percent weight by weight, and there will be percent weight by volume. So let's start with percent volume by volume. You might have thought um, typically that when you dissolve something you're dissolving a solid into a liquid, but that doesn't have to be the case. You can also dissolve liquids in liquids. So let's suppose you have a volumetric flask and in that volumetric flask you pour some hydrogen peroxide and precisely you pour 13 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide which is H2O2. So hydrogen peroxide is a pure liquid, it's a liquid at room temperature so this is pure hydrogen peroxide, there's no water molecules in it as of right now but we're going to dissolve it in water so you add water until it reaches the line. So now you have 100 milliliters of total solution. Now I want to be clear again here that these volumes are not necessarily additive. So this is not necessarily 87 milliliters of water that you had to add plus 13 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Because as these liquids dissolve in each other, the amount of space they take up might change. The intermolecular forces acting between the hydrogen peroxide and the water might change the density of the resulting solution. So you probably had to add about 83 or 87 milliliters of water, but not necessarily exactly. So when we are talking about 100 mils, that is the total solution that is created, right? This is also not the same as taking 100 mils of water and adding 13 mils of hydrogen peroxide. What we need to know precisely is the 100 mils of total solution after the dissolving has taken place. Okay, so let's think about this example now in terms of percent concentration. Well, remember that percent just literally means per 100. So in this case, we have created a 13% solution because we have 13 out of 100 referring to hydrogen peroxide. Now, if we're talking about out of 100, we have to specify whether we're talking about 13 molecules out of every 100 molecules, 13 uh, liters out of every 100 liters, 13 grams out of every 100 grams. So in this case we were dealing with volumes which is why we call this a 13 percent volume by volume. The volume by volume meaning we're talking about liters or milliliters. In this case we have 13 milliliters in 100 milliliters of solution and this is equal to 13 percent because it's 13 per 100. Now that's exactly the same as 13 liters and 100 liters of solution. We just don't have that much, but the amount, the concentration is the same. And so the specific unit doesn't matter, but it does matter that we're talking about a volume because if we would measure the mass, then this might give us a different number. So basically, any time you see a percent volume by, by volume, you can turn that into milliliters per hundred milliliters if you want. They mean exactly the same thing because percent just means per hundred. So what about the next example of percent weight by weight? Let's just pick a different number. Say we were talking about 27 percent weight by weight. What does that really mean? Well the weight technically refers to mass but in everyday jargon people tend to call mass weight. So this just means we have 27 out of 100, but this time we are dealing with masses. So 27 grams out of 100 grams, or 27 kilograms out of 100 kilograms. Any unit of mass will work. You can use pounds if you want, but it's 27 out of 100, and the units have to be mass. So again, any time you see percent weight by weight, you can automatically turn that into grams per hundred grams 
as one example of the unit it could be because that means the same thing and so our last one is percent weight by volume and before I go into that I have to make, make one little comment um, a handy thing about the metric system you might know that one milliliter of water weighs exactly one gram or has a mass of exactly one gram and this is really cool about the metric system that the different types of units are related together and we're going to need to invoke that to sort of think about percent weight by volume so let's just pick a number let's suppose we have 1.7 percent weight by volume again it's 1.7 per hundred but this time we have our top number is measured by weight and our bottom, bottom number is measured by volume so this could be grams per hundred mils or this could be 1.7 kilograms per 100 liters and it's not always obvious which units to pick but that's why I made this little note over here so you have to use units that are equivalent so gra one gram is equivalent to one milliliter or one kilogram is equivalent to one liter if we're talking about water so they're as equivalent as we can get for things that are not talking about the same quantity the same type of measurement and then it is always per hundred so 1.7 grams per hundred mils or 1.7 per kilograms per hundred liters so that's percent concentration these are used more often on consumer products and a little less often in a chemistry lab environment but nevertheless handy to know and we're going to have to learn how to convert between them and amount concentration as well